Hey Cancer, this is going to be an in-depth love reading. We're going to look at two future outcomes. I'll give you any timing if possible. Also, we're going to look at the intent, the hopes, the fears, external factors, as well as the past. So, Cancer, remember that the energies can go both ways. This could be your energy or the energy of the person you're dealing with. Well, of course, we're asking about love. <laughs> I kind of went into my immediate future. Alright, so Cancer and love. What's coming up? Where's it been? What's coming up? Also, remember it's a general reading. So just take what's yours and leave the rest. If it does resonate, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. Uh-oh. Oh, somebody wants to make amends. We got the Seven of Swords at the bottom. So the Seven of Swords can be like a dishonest card. It can be a lot. It's a liar, cheater, thief. But, I mean, somebody may have felt done wrong. And it does look like the feelings are there. So somebody wants to make something right they want to talk they want to move forward progress all right so what's coming up around cancer for love please even if you're not dealing with anybody it's cool we'll see oh shoot you've got the magician and the ace of pentacles go cancer so there's an opportunity that's coming towards you right um and you're manifesting it you have all the all the tools from the universe wow this is a really nice reading um let me get these cards and then i'm gonna tell you what's going on here you are like the um the author of your own story and it looks like right now things may feel like a little disappointing a little gloomy on someone's side here um but that's gonna turn around because it looks like somebody in the near future is like oh shit, this is mine i don't want to lose it so going towards it, it's not easy though. Wow, there's a lot of messages coming across. Even the intent is freaking awesome. Yeah, you're going to end up going straight towards this and or this person. Could be dealing with the air sign, queen of pentacles at the bottom, emperor. It could be anybody, right? But things right now, like there may be a lot that's like unknown or kind of kept within. There may be a lot of disappointment. It feels like there's a lot of need for some clarity or like some communication. But the problem is, not the problem, the fear is the five of wands. That can be a, a couple of things. The five of wands is drama. It's conflict. It could be competition. However, it feels like somebody here doesn't want to argue. They don't want to fuss. They don't want to fight. And so that's kind of became but in general it's also like an action card and there's so much that feels like it's left unresolved and that caused a lot of pain but for the hopes here i mean the intent you got the ace of cups so love whether that's new beginnings or whatever it is um you're manifesting and there is an opportunity that's coming towards you in the immediate the near future that we got the four of pentacles and that can be about holding on to something or someone. And I see the hopes here is the hangman to hold on to something. So I'm wondering if this is a past person or something that's brand new. For external factors, we got the Ten of Wands. The Ten of Wands is a situation that it can, it, it is challenging and it does take quite a bit of effort um, to manifest this. The only, which is not necessarily a bad thing. The only thing that could, that's really pointing out that that could be an obstacle for is the fact that the five of wands is here. So if effort, like for example, if effort was the fear, that might be, but also it could be um, like argument of communication because generally in, um, Y'all don't like, y'all don't like drama. It's like, y'all are the crab, right? So when it comes to arguments, conflict, kind of like, nope. And there's a, re I mean, y'all are extremely intuitive. So you, you pick up on that energy, you sense that energy, and then it kind of gets locked in your energy and becomes heavy. And you don't even realize why. And, 
you know, just a whole thing. All right. Show me. So let's. Um. So this is kind of what it's all going to result back to. So we're going to clarify that. Then we're going to look at the past and go around. So what this is all working up to is you are manifesting. It's something that it's coming across as a solid opportunity, something that leads to growth, to love. Whether this is something brand new or a past person, we're going to see because if it's something that's brand new, then the past or something that somebody's holding on to could still stall things. So it can go a couple of ways. What is this Ace of Pentacles for Cancer, please? So the lovers. Gemini energy, yeah. See, there may be more to this. <laughs> At the bottom, you got this five of swords. So there could be some anger. There could have been like some dishonesty. There could have been a third party. And now somebody is, you know, regretting that. But that's where, yeah, this, so it could be more like the grass isn't greener type thing. Or like, there's more to this story than, but we'll see. The lovers right there, that is Mercury energy. And we do a Mercury retrograde coming up, I believe, Friday, the 21st. Uh, show me the magician for Cancer. Could just be a Gemini, right? Show me the magician. Yeah. Um, you got the Three of Swords. Somebody, there's a lot of pain here. But there's also something that's, blocking things from progressing and whether or not that's a third party or just something that somebody's still holding on to some something that somebody's still carrying with them it could just be that there's a distance but um you have the magician and the ace of pentacles so everything is needed here to manifest but there's a blockage it's not progressing let's see why show me the moon please The moon is your energy. You also have the seven of cups there. But the moon is also about, you know, uh, our feelings, things that we keep to ourselves. It feels like there's a lot of uncertainty at the very least in the past. And it led to a lot of stress. Um, there could have been options, choices, or just like a period of, you know, somebody could have kept a lot in. The stress may have been hidden, but it's really an energy of like trying to figure out where things stand. Somebody's losing sleep back there and they've been waiting on or vice versa this opportunity. But it feels like somebody, yeah, there was some, some type of dishonesty or, you know, not committing something. Let's see what that five of cups is talking about. Show me that five of cups, please. So this is kind of like the current energy is very much upcoming. Oh, okay. So currently somebody is feeling like the grass was not greener or somebody should have wanted to take action towards something, but they didn't. So with the four of cups there, the, the four and the five of cups, this is somebody who's been doing a lot of worrying, but in a whole lot of kind of unhappy about how things are or where, you know, how they're kind of situated, but still not taking action. This is more of a, you know, I want something, but I'm not going towards it. Again, with the six of pentacles, the lovers, there's something here, the three of pentacles, and it doesn't have to be the third party, but there's something here that's blocking things now and it's blocking things then as we progress. As you can see with the lovers, there's this third energy that comes in between things. And even right now, currently, we got the four and the five of cups. You know, sometimes that could just be self. That could be somebody's own mind. It's a general reading. So you know, take it out of applies, but there's somebody who's, who's not taking action towards what they want at the moment. They're not following their feelings. Grass wasn't greener. Shoulda, woulda, coulda not taken action. But that intent is now to go towards them feelings because in the near future, so instead of being like, nope, somebody's like, that's mine. So show me the Ace of Cups for intent, please. For cancer. The Ace of Cups is new beginnings, fresh starts, the sun. 
Leo energy. But this the sun is needed for things to grow. It's also the happiest card in the deck. So that's a that's a nice energy. But we still have this third something here. Show me this four of pentacles for the near future for cancer, please. The two of swords. And the four of pentacles again. Same card clarifying, but the two of swords. Um the moon again same cards i was here in the past there's a whole lot of unknown uh, a whole lot that remains like under the surface because somebody's still definitely holding on but with the two of swords and the moon it's like something never gets addressed it never gets see we're ending with the three of swords we have the two of swords now there's either a decision or there's not a clarity around a situation show me the moon for the near future please but it looks like with the intent is the sun the sun shines light on the things that are hidden but it's it just doesn't something there is not yeah i mean it's all coming down to make a decision to take one path and go towards what somebody you know wants but it just it doesn't feel like at the very least there's there's trust and worry issues around that Show me the five of wands for fears. So the five of wands, like I said, can be uh, arguments, competition, drama, argumentative communication. But yeah, the fear is fighting for this. With the ace of cups, this is love. This is feelings and that's someone's intent. But the fear is also going towards it. The fear is love. And that's why right now the energy, you know, it feels like somebody's not addressing those feelings or, you know, could be missing opportunities or just not expressing their feelings or how even seem present at all. Those feelings are the fear. And this is definitely present. Somebody's definitely holding on. But it may just be energetically. But this is somebody who's almost keeping themselves very unhappy. Show me the Ten of Wands for external factors. And with the Ten of Wands and the Magician, something here is possible. But, I mean, it is very difficult. Top of the Richter scale of difficulty. And the difficulty may be with the Ace of Swords expressing something, communicating, or even exposing and revealing. Because in the past with the Moon, the near future... Uh, with the moon and the two of swords. It's like enlightenment or bringing something to the surface is the fear. Show me that ace of swords. Or communication in general. Because you got the page of wands. Which indicates good news. But somebody's like. Um, uh, maturity level. Just with the page of wands sometimes. you know, Because this is actually good news. But you know. There's also the strong possibility somebody is... It depends on your situation. Remember, it's a general reading, but keeping their own self stuck. Refusing to acknowledge something or take action. Show me this hangman, please, for hopes. So somebody's hope is to hold on, but over here and to communicate. But it looks like somebody's more so just waiting for communication. No. Yeah, the Page of Cups. Somebody wants to apologize. Somebody wants to express these feelings. These emotions. This is a situation that definitely looks like it could have some resolve. If somebody was, like, willing to make the effort to... I'm not saying that's on both sides, though. All right, let's look at that last outcome. Show me that uh, Knight of Swords. For how this is winding around. Show me that Knight of Swords. Somebody is still at, at the very end. At the very least, we got the Two of Swords and the Three of Swords. Some type of pain or distance is still there. 
um, and still kind of protective of self, of heart. But at the same time, it's very possible that that's somebody taking action. Show me this Knight of Swords. Thank you. The Four of Cups. Nope. Opportunity missed. Literally, this opportunity is somebody's manifested. It gets rejected. Same card that's here now. <clears throat> I don't know who sides this one, but this this isn't this doesn't look like somebody who's like following their heart or even very happy. Why is the four of cups there? Why is this rejected? The two of pentacles in the wheel. Again, decisions, choices, being, uh, you know, kind of, uh, this can be an up in the air or uncertain energy, but it's like I said, from the jump, from the past, we had the seven of cups, trying to figure things out, options, choices, unsure, uncertainty. Here, the grass was, or the current energy, the grass isn't greener, but I'm not going to budge towards it. I'm not going to act, even though my feelings are involved. Um, so, near future, things still hidden, refusing almost to, with the two of swords there, that's like no decision, no clarity gain, no, you know, it's almost like no reveal of these feelings here, because the feelings are the fear. So, as a result, it's the same, same type of wraparound, damn. For some, with the Four of Cups, so I'm going to tell you, if this is, you know, for some, it's much more complicated. But also with the Four of Cups, this can be something that, like, is just floating there, but it doesn't just fall in our lap. Like, we have to take action towards it. And I don't know whose side that's on, so maybe it's not on yours. But, you know, sometimes we can be giving all our attention over here, like if it was work, and then kind of leaving out what's over here. Or, you know, so if things, there's not that balance. But the power for this is here, but no, somebody doesn't go towards it. So sometimes it can just be about taking initiative, taking action. But for others, there's either a distance or a decision, a choice that has to be made. Even if that's just putting one foot in front of the other. So let's get some Oracle. What does Cancer need to know, please? You also have the future. Becoming clear about your vision of the future. No, that's too many. Sorry, there's a plane going by. Might sound a little loud. All right, Cancer. What does Cancer need to know, please? The feelings are very much here. Here, games. Playing games just to keep your attention. And you also have caught up. Caught in a compromising position. Which would, for some, is kind of interesting because the reveal thing is here. So the future games, playing games just to keep your attention and caught up. Caught in a compromising position. You also have slowed down. Russian will ruin this connection. And we did have the wheel. So that is about divine timing. It just may not be the time, you know, time and a place for everything. Um, Because after slow down, you have leveling up. Forbidden love, this relationship is frowned upon. And then also double life partner engaged in secret behaviors or relationships so for some this may have been a situation where like things may have been in, on the hush in the past <clears throat> the moon does represent secrets things like that so you know maybe for some getting caught up is is uh an issue too all right cancer i hope this helped if it resonated please make sure that you like and subscribe below if you guys like to contact me for a personal reading that's below as well you guys take care and i will see you next time